Do you have locks? What am I thinking? Of course you have locks. That's why you're watching this video. Well, because you have locks, that means you also have frizz. And nine times out of 10, you're someone who is not a fan of frizz. Well, you've come to the right place because today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to eliminate frizz at the roots really quickly. Let's get it. Welcome back to the Atreyu Locks channel. Hi, I'm Atreyu, a semi-free former who's dedicated to bringing you the best tips to grow a healthy set of locks. If this is your first time here, make yourself comfortable. I am glad to have you. So, like I said before, today I'm gonna to be showing you how to get rid of frizzy dreadlocks, how to get rid of the frizz using one method, and that method, I'm sure you guys are all wondering, will be the needle and thread method. I saw this method years ago by a locktuber named Cheska Locks at the time. I think her real name was Cheska Lee. And she saw it from another locktuber, and you know that's what we do. One locktuber sees it, shows it to others, and then other lockers learn it, and then they show it to the lockers that come after them, and so on and so forth. So I'm doing my part now by showing you today how it's done, and then you guys can show other people. All right, let's relocate so we can get rid of some frizz. Whoosh. Whoosh. All right, so as you can see, we safely made it. We are now in the working station, AKA the bathroom. <laughs> and I'm gonna show you how to do this method with a needle and thread. So as you can see, I just took a needle, I took some thread, not even much thread, and I fed the thread through the eye of the needle and then tied a little knot and then cut the excess down. So that's all you need. And of course, your frizz. All right guys, so see this excess? Normally I would just braid that in, but since we're gonna be using the needle and thread method today, I'm not gonna braid it in, I'm gonna use the needle and thread. <laughs> so basically all you do is take this and you can kind of just twist it a little bit into its own little curly cue like that. All right, so we got the little curly cue. Now you're gonna take your lock and the needle and go through a section of your lock where it's already locked. And then you're gonna open your loop up like that. Get your two fingers in there. And then you're gonna grab the curly cue like that. And then see how I'm gonna pull it through. And you can hold your roots if you're worried about them, you know, too much tension on your scalp but basically you're just gonna pull that through. And now the excess is going through the, through the lock and you're just gonna repeat the process, okay? So take your needle and thread again, go through another section of your lock like that. Open up your hole, open up the yarn and get your two fingers through. And then grab your curly cue, grab it with those two fingers and then pull it through. See how it, it's the hair, the excess hair, the frizz is in the hole. So that when you pull it through, it goes through the lock and now it's out again. Okay. And you're just gonna keep doing that. Then you can palm roll like that. And now that excess is going into the lock. So yeah, you can do that with all of the locks. Maybe you have a lot of new growth. Maybe your hair grows away from your locks. You don't really want to do a retwist. You just kind of want to eliminate some of that frizz. Well, you can use the needle and thread method to eliminate that frizz by pulling it into the lock, okay? All right, so that's how you eliminate frizz using a needle and Thread. For those of you who are bothered by frizz, I know many of you are not, just like I'm not, but for those of you who are, I'm interested in knowing what methods you use to eliminate your frizz. Of course, it's only temporary, but what is your go-to method for getting rid of frizz? 
If you choose to love, do so unconditionally because loving with conditions conditions the heart to not really love at all. By the way, if you guys are interested in hearing about my seborrheic dermatitis that I was recently diagnosed with, definitely check out the end cards at the end of this video. This is Atreyu Lux, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.